I've had quite a few requests asking to show how I make my do-it-yourself tinting jelly polishes or lead lighting, lead lighting polishes, I'm not sure how that's pronounced. And so that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. I have made one of them with a cream polish. I used Essie Strut Your Stuff for this one, but for all of the others I've used markers. So I'm going to go through the steps and show you how I've made all the others. The first thing you'll need is some sort of a clear polish. This one is the Wet n Wild Top Coat, and this one is the Base Coat. I really don't think it matters which one you use. I pretty much just bought these because I can peel the labels off, and then I can write on them or do whatever I want. And I really don't think it matters the base is purple tinted, so I have been using that one just for the purple and blue sheer polishes, but I really don't think it's colored enough that it would matter if you did, say, a yellow in the base coat. So I've got those. And of course you also need markers of some sort. I've used various highlighter colors. I've used, I've tried to use some of the pastel colors out of this pack. And then I've also tried using scented markers out of this pack. So out of the Crayola Tropical Markers, I, these are the only four that I haven't tried. So I'm going to do the green and maybe the blue today. And for all of the sheer polishes that I've made, I do have them swatched out on a piece of paper. I've done four of the scented markers here. And then here's how the highlighters turned out. These were just some cheap, I think it was $1.50 at Walgreens for a 10 pack of markers. The plain colors, that's those. And then there's the blue that I made with that Essie cream polish. And then some of the other tropical markers are these down here. So for the first step, a pair of pliers are a must for this. These are just a pair that I stole from my husband out of the garage. I really don't think they matter. It works. And with these I found that it's best to really squeeze the bottom cap because it's in there good and doesn't like to come out. So then that little ink cartridge is what you want to get out. I've got my top coat ready. I'm going to dump out just a little bit of it so that it's down to about here and that will make room for the ink. I know it's hard to tell but there's what I dumped out and you just take the ink cartridge from the marker and squeeze about I think most of them took about 20 drops of the ink Driving down that county road There was something I wanted to say I'm crazy about her But I could never get it out Because I was so afraid And there's something burning Trying So I ended up doing 40 drops of the green and 20 drops of the blue just since this green is a little bit of a lighter color so now all that I have to do is put the caps back on and shake them up a little bit and they are ready to go just make sure you let them sit for a little bit before you use them because you don't want to have your polish all bubbly after shaking it so I just use a silver sharpie and write on the tops of the bottles like this one, I used the one of the tropical markers, one of the purple ones, and so I called it Tropical Fuchsia. Um, there are some, there's another tropical one. The 
plain red that I did using the just regular uh, cheap Walgreens markers and then one of the scented polishes that I did the name of the scent was candy and so I just did scented and then candy and then peach since that's the color it turned out so adding to my tropical marker swatches you can see this one turns out really kind of a limey green sort of color and it's a lot more lime green than the one that I made with regular markers up here and it's actually, it's kind of a, a little bit of a hybrid, it looks like, between, say, a highlighter, yellow, and green. So there's how that one turned out. And the blue is just a very light, kind of average blue. It's not really much different than, it's nothing special. It is a lot like the... I believe it was the slushy scented marker blue one up here that I did. And that is how easy those are to make. If you would like, I will do a separate video where I go through each one. I don't have exact amounts of how many drops of color I put into each one. I just kind of, it was 20 to 30 to 40-ish of each color. Some of them I mixed. I did a little bit of yellow with a green to do my lime green here. I think I put a little bit of yellow in my orange one here because it was too red for me. If you're interested in that, let me know and I will get that up as soon as I can. And if you try this out, please let me know how it works for you. And thanks for watching.